Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to review something new from Fast Bites. And before I go in with the review, I'm going to do the review on my new camera. I want to talk about my personal history with Fast Bites. Now, when I first started getting into uh, food reviews, um, the main, the first guy I found about was Reggie Frank uh, 09, who sadly passed away, like, a month later, and he did like spicy pepper, and then like the regular food reviewer first it was Trav Tries. And when I used to go to, uh, I still do, uh, my local doll General, they have like the fast bite sandwich in one part of their small freezer section. They, they don't have a big one, they have a small one. I just looked at them, I didn't really think anything of them, and then, uh, you know, and then I, I started getting into fast food reviews around the summer of uh, 2013. That's why I started doing it because my channel was different before then, you know. And because uh, I was doing like movie reviews and, you know, just saying, just stuff off the top of my head and stuff. And uh, Trav was the main, first main uh, food reviewer I found out about. And then through Trav, I found out about other food reviewers. And um, Trav actually reviewed these... Uh, he did the breaded chicken sandwich September 14th, 2013, and then he did the cheeseburger one a day later. And he said he liked them. Because I didn't know. I didn't know. I haven't had, uh, you know, I wasn't sure about some of these sandwiches. So I thought, you know, I'd give them a try. And I started reviewing my channel. And, uh, yeah, I have a list of my videos. And I first did... Uh, yeah, a couple days later, September 7th, 2013, I did a Fast Bites barbecue rib sandwich with a shout out to Patrick Barton. And that was one of my, uh, probably my favorite of the Fast Bites sandwiches, despite what Wolf Pit thinks. Wolf Pit hates that one. I did a Fast Bites spicy chicken sandwich September 8th of that year. And then uh, the Fast Bites cheeseburger September 10th of that year. And then I went to the, uh, the bread chicken sandwich September 21st. Of that year, and that was all the ones we had at my Dollar General. So that was pretty much it for Fast Bites. And then I started hearing about uh, frozen food sections in the Dollar Tree. And we didn't have our Dollar Tree went out of business in Edinburgh. Then, you know, like in the summer, this summer, um, summer last year, we actually have a new Dollar Tree in Edinburgh. But I mean, the one we had closed, and we didn't have a frozen food section or anything like that. And when I went to Meadville, thing was Meadville, they, I found they had a frozen food section. I went, I found a fish and cheese sandwich I did back December 21st, 2014. Then after that, I did a, my first breakfast one item I got from there, and it was a Fast Bite Sauce and Cheese Biscuit, September, I mean, December 23rd, 2014. And then, uh, I can't remember, there were different ones with frozen food sections, because that became a thing after that, you know, after I found the first one. They had the two-pack mini chicken and biscuits, uh, March 24th, 2015. Barbecue chicken sandwich, Ju June 20th, 2015. The chili cheese hot dog, uh, December 3rd, 2015. And then the last one was the cheeseburger sliders. And then my history with uh, Fast Bite Sandwiches, which I already had, and it was June 18th, 2017. Now, every time I go to one of, uh, now Family Dollar is owned by Dollar Tree as well. And every time I go to like a Family Dollar or Dollar Tree, I check out their frozen food segment and see if I can find a new thing from Fast Bites. I finally found a grilled chicken sandwich, so I'm going to review it. Uh, it'll be on my new camera. I thought I'd at least mention the uh, history of the uh, Fast Food Fast Bite sandwiches. Flame bro uh, flame bro chicken breast patty sandwich with Monterey Jack cheese. Sounds good. Said made with chicken breast. Heating instructions, uh, preferred method. Open end of wrapper and microwave at 30% power for 90 seconds. Then heat sandwich on high power for 45 seconds. Allow sandwich to rest in the microwave for 10 sa seconds. And it says the quicker method is take sandwich out of wrapper and wrap in a paper towel. Heat sandwich on high 70 75 seconds. Let sandwich sit in microwave for 15 seconds. I'm going to do it the preferred method. And I'll be back on the other camera to show you how it is. Hopefully, it'll be good. Like I said, I got this at my Dollar Tree, the one in Edinburgh. And this was only a dollar. And this is what the sandwich looks like. Hopefully it'll be good. Look, the uh, sesame seed bun. Monterey Jack cheese on top. And the chicken breast on the bottom. So I'll see you on the other camera. 
Okay, here it is out of the microwave. And, uh, yeah, I was really happy to find a new uh, Fast Bites item. You see the sesame seed bun right there. And you open up the pop the top. And uh, cheese is melted. Right there, Mari Jack cheese. And there's the chicken. Whoa! Getting uh, foggy again like the other one. That's the uh, grilled chicken breast right there, so let's try it out. I just want to try it out as is. The bottom part, the bottom bun's a little bit hard, but not too bad. See all the cheese melted in there? Okay, he's up in the wrapper. Why well, I open up one end, so let's try it out. The cheese gives it a little bit of a good flavor. Uh, the bread. It's a little bit, the bottom part of bread is a little bit tough, just like what you get on a pretzel, but those big pretzels, but I like that. The chicken breast. Try chicken breast, that's a big item right there. Not bad, it doesn't have the best flavor in the world, but it has decent texture. It tastes okay. For a microwave or chicken sandwich, this isn't bad. I've had better grilled chicken sandwiches, but overall, I give this a, I give us eight out of ten. So I'm glad I was able to share with you my history of the fast bite sandwiches. Now, hopefully, I'll be able to find up some find up some new items from fast bites. I'll be able to do in the near future. Now I don't have to worry about doing the history, but. This is alright for a microwave bill sandwich. For a dollar, it's a good deal. You know, Wendy's uh, chicken sandwich blows us out of the park. So, 8 out of 10 for a Fast Bites grilled chicken sandwich. So, until next time, bye, please. Take care of my leeches. I'll put some mustard on or something like that, maybe.